so great to see you again over here in Holland because the first time we met it was in last year February in Mexico in Guatemala and it's so special to, make, to meet you again over here in Holland so you are still a little bit recovering I guess from last weekend the workshop that Which workshop was? just energized me. Oh, really? I got okay. I got downloaded with more energy than ever. Okay. That was right. fantastic. Yeah, what was the thing that you received from that weekend, last weekend? Uh I, I feel like it changed my whole approach. Why? I have to start putting Mother Earth yes. into the chart. Yes. So beautiful. I mean, it was just like, it? It hello, yes. here we are, you know, we've yes. got all these planets and everything, and, and wh where's Gaia? Yes. So, uh, Gaia is always opposite the sun. Yes. And, uh, but, but she doesn't show up in the chart. No. I can keep her in mind, though, more, uh, you know, uh, just be more present to yes. that. And I can also see about the software, yes. just in terms of, you know, including mm -hmm. her symbol. Yes. You know, in the chart, yes. and and just um, yeah, the that that was such a powerful weekend. This yes. gathering of uh, you know, of beings yes. that uh, spontaneously, it just kind of. You were there. Mm -hmm. You know. It was a great feeling. It was just we were doing the constellations. Yes. And we had, uh, yeah, we had to include her to complete and fulfill. Yes, really. I think that yes. that constellation we were working with. Yes, it was also for me the connection between. Yeah, it, like you said, it's made made it complete or so in a way, and for me it was new to do constellation work with with all those planets and all the it was a lot of planets and a lot of energy <laughs> and a lot of going on. But when Mother Earth returned over there in all her beauty, yeah. then suddenly everything found his place or yeah really beautiful yeah yeah i like to speak this day with you uh, mostly i i do this interviews because of i want to speak with people who live from their heart who are really true honest with their hearts and being there and i guess you are one of those persons who inspired me to not just preach it, but show it. And uh, so I'm very curious. Not, of course, I'm also interested in uh, astrology and all those things. But I'm also interested in how do you practice in your life? Uh, yeah, the, the the beat of your heart, I would say. So that's my purpose for now. Mhm. Mm Gosh. So yeah. Love, love, love. Love is all there is. All you need is love. I yeah. just... <laughs> yeah, so that's a, that's a big thing. That's the 60s and we are now in other times. So it needs to be more like... And of course, I mentioned you were the whole weekend, those big hearts. Yeah. Friday there was a beautiful one and Saturday as well. So I was... And then I thought the Leo is all about the heart, isn't it? Yeah. 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 How can you re relate the other things in astrology to the heart? Is it only the Leo? Or no, I actually, I mean, uh, uh, for me it's more Neptune, Pisces, yes. and the 12th house. Oh, really? That has to do with um, multi-dimensional outside time and space and separation. It's mm -hmm. our spiritual um, uh, identity mm -hmm. or spirit self that is connected to all that is. Yes. We are infinite spiritual beings that kind of come out of this. It's also the collective unconscious is mm -hmm. what they call it in astrology. Yes. So there's no boundaries, no limits, no separation. And to me, that's what love is. Love is this experience of union mm -hmm. with... And it's not just human love. It's, you know, love with the animals and the plants and the minerals and just feeling sensing mm -hmm. that 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 there is this reflection that everything is a mirror everything is a reflection mm -hmm. yes of course you know and that um 
that this is uh, that's why they I think the ancient ones called this Maya. Mm -hmm. You know that all this separation yes. is an illusion. Yes, it is. <laughs> you so know, in a way, it's all connected. But we are living here on Earth, and as as we saw yesterday, when Mother Earth returned in that constellation, in that specific one, yeah, uh, there were also changing energies or changing things around it. Mm -hmm. So to manifest mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the the living of be true to your, to yourself here on Earth, I guess it needs a little bit more guts to do it. Yes, I would say that uh, the, the times we're living in now yes. and what this new paradigm t for me is all about is that we came out of this matriarchal, it's all-inclusive, all love, all feeling, all connection, into the patriarchy, mm -hmm. ego, separation, in order to discover mm -hmm. our unique, diverse potential. And now, we're at this point where I feel, it's, it, it's almost like um, the seed grows, you know, the, the plant grows out of the earth, and grows into its individual glory, produces its fruit, mm -hmm. and then the fruit falls. I think we're at this time now mm -hmm. where our egos mm -hmm. and how wonderful I am and how unique and how original and how special you know I am, it's kind of like we're ripe. Yes. We're ripe now mm -hmm. as a species. Mm -hmm. And now we're, it's time to fall <laughs> back into... <laughs> and start yes. to decompose, you know, that apple kind of like, uh, you know. But it's so, I think it's time where we can, we can experience both yes. unity in diversity. Mm -hmm. that, that we can be, uh, that we don't have to be like, we don't have to lose our specialness mm -hmm. or our individual self. Now that we've, we've got our special, you know, original being, mm -hmm we can also experience unity with consciousness. It doesn't have to be unconscious merging. No. We can have conscious merging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's where I think we're, that's where I feel like it's all heading. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. And when you're saying it like that, when it's your to make it a little bit more personal, uh, you as well, uh, I know you told me before, it's all about astrology and it's not about me, you told me. Yeah, I, and I, I guess um, I don't agree with you. Ah, <laughs> ah, so funny, so funny. Why is it funny? Because I've been getting more and more and more attention and more and more focus and more and more, you know, it was like, it was a psychic a few years ago that told me yes. that I was going to be big yes. and that I should not make it about myself. Yes. And so I, I lived with that. Yes. I owned it and believed it and followed it and said, oh, okay, 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 okay. But like now, you know, over the years now, yes. you know, things are changing a little bit. Yes. And, um... What's the change? Well, I'm becoming more uh, more well known, and I'm running into people that you know uh, know my videos and know me through my videos. Yes. Feel like they know me, and and so I have instant friends like everywhere I go. Yes. And uh, and they're interested in connecting to Kaipacha, Tom Lesher. Yes. Um. And what and, and so and, and what I bring yes. through you know like they feel the love or the energy through the astrology through the YouTube videos mm -hmm. and they want to connect with the human being that is generating or channeling or producing or whatever mm -hmm. all of this yes and so I've you know I've kind of been in a struggle yes. Should I, you know, I not, I don't want to be egotistical. I know Leo gets all kinds of shit mm -hmm. for being self-centered, and here I am, and yes. blah blah blah, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I, I don't want to be that. No. But at the same time, I also feel this kind of um, need or desire mm -hmm. on the part of people to get the story. Yes. 
you know? Exactly. And to connect with me. Yes. But I, I, I mean, well, I, now we're in the, the messy water because is me my story? No. No, it isn't. I don't have to and necessarily share my story. No, and it isn't neither a fixed image of you because you're also in a transformation, I guess. So it's not fixed. Yeah. But it's still there that astrology is kind of an instrument and you as well are your own instrument, I guess. Mm -hmm. So being who you really are, I guess, got nothing to do with uh, look up, here I am. It's more like embracing some, some parts of yourself or of your existence to really shine. How do you see it? What's the part you need to embrace? in yourself I'm just thinking of Amsterdam you know where there were so many there's more there were more people yeah, than, than I had ever addressed yes and afterwards strangers came up to me that had been watching me for years mm -hmm. felt like they knew me yes gave me presents and hugs and I spent, I forget how long I spent. It was, I was hugging, 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 hugging. I felt like, uh, like, like Amachi. Amma. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and like Amma. And it, and it was just like, wow, now, now th this is really something. Yes, yes. Um, and it kind of took me to another, uh, it was another place. Yes. I was, I mean, I just felt so grateful and so almost like I was receiving more than giving, uh, you know, I mean, it was just like such such a beautiful balance, uh, balance mm -hmm. and experience. Um, but it did bring me into a, speaking of identity. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tell me, what is it? <laughs> I have my son in the 12th house, conjunct Uranus, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like my identity, and I've got Pluto in the first house of identity. Yes. I've gone through numerous mm -hmm. identities. Yes. To the point now where, you know, identity to me is a really uh, nebulous mm -hmm. concept. Yes. Because it, it seems like uh, my identity expands, mm -hmm. like breathing almost, and contracts. Mm -hmm. And when I go into fear... I feel like a small, tiny, insignificant mouse that could just like lose everything in an instant. And then when I, uh, you know, uh, experience, you know, something like the other night, I feel like this huge angelic being that is an, you know, an eternal, uh, space, you know, invincible, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, some psychologists could say that I'm bipolar. <laughs> Put a stamp on it. You know, <laughs> but, you know, it's like whatever. Yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what is the challenge now? Now you are embracing maybe a little bit more that it's all so about you as a person in this body, in this whatever what. I mean, it's boundaries. It's, it's boundaries. I'm coming up. To, I had Saturn conjunct the north node of my moon. Yes. You know, uh, just this last year. And now I'm coming into my Saturn return. Yes. Next year's my Saturn yes. return. And that is, Saturn is boundaries, limitations, authority, becoming an elder, mm -hmm. becoming more of like, you know, into my king place. Yes. And, and that, that's, so I need to like, I feel, step more into, mm -hmm. um, old age. <laughs> Grow up! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> I've resisted as long as I can. But now you're oh, on. God. But I think some of it is uh, finding my. Uh, I'm finding my own boundaries. Like um, I'm getting too many. Uh, I'm getting some high expectations. Yes. Um, I'm getting lots of demands and lots of uh, you know. Um, Are there a lot of people who only want to receive from you? Because I can feel that energy a little around you when I'm uh -huh. in a workshop like last weekend. or And maybe I'm wrong, but I guess I can feel your struggle how to be nice to each person and also how to include each person. 
but maybe it's time to exclude some things. Time is the trick. Yes. Time is the trick. If I had enough time, I'd love to just hug everybody and talk to everybody and be with everybody. And but you know, it's you just can like do your tour together just, with Anna. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just like tick, 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 tick. You know, yes. I don't know if I'm a uh, you know talks to anybody. They just come up and hug. Mm. And, you know, and the words kind of um, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm needing to um, find ways. Yes. Of reaching people, more people. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, and what is your in purpose in in this in this way? Because I guess there's your own focus and your own maybe thing. You there's a reason where why you are there at that place in that specific time in that moment so how can you still do your own purpose and also be like the person who wants to be hugged by everybody well do you know what I mean in a way for me I uh I want to really, uh, my passion, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, my passion, my love, mm -hmm. my intention, yes. you know, my purpose is um, astrology to me mm -hmm. uh, is so amazing mm -hmm. and so uplifting because it shows me mm -hmm. personally how everything is connected to everything else yes. and how there is unity mm -hmm. and not only a connection and unity but intelligence mm -hmm. way beyond yes, my intelligence mm -hmm. there's a divine intelligence mm -hmm. and I am in constant awe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of this Still. divine intelligence mm -hmm. it blows my mind and and like when I give a talk and all these people show up, I mean, I don't believe in accidents. No. There's no accidents. There's no coincidence. So like when all this stuff happens, you know, it just fills me with more awe mm -hmm. and more energy mm -hmm. and more, you know, uh, love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually get, uh, I get charged up by a lot of these experiences. And, and I think some people can feel like, you know, you you should be getting drained, mm -hmm. but actually, I I get I get uh, I get more charged up instead of getting drained. Okay. I've I've been really that's um, a good signal, I guess. Surprising myself. Uh, yeah. You know, when I look at my schedule, yeah. I'm I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. When I saw it, I thought <laughs> that man is crazy. Really. <laughs> but it's like it's I impossible. I go here, and it's just like I say, it's this two-way exchange. Yes. You know. So you receive also. The energy. Yeah. 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 So I don't know if that answered your question. In a way, not really, but I'm. Um, you know. We will go there. I've tried to get my 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 uh, lower self or my ego self mm -hmm. or my kaipacha um, goal or agenda or you know what I want out of this for myself. That's what I've really. Um, uh, uh, my my goal, yes. uh, you know, is really to fulfill the greatest potential mm -hmm. that I can mm -hmm. in this body, in this lifetime. And for that, I have found that my limited ego, mm -hmm. my limited perspective, mm -hmm. my limited self-centered, uh, you know, per, you know. Uh, way of viewing the world yes. um, limits my, my fulfilling my greatest potential. Yes. So the, the less I try mm -hmm. to figure things out and to uh, analyze and calculate and, and look at the, you know, the money and the finances and, and, the, and the time and the schedule and it's like the less I really um, attach I have Pluto in Leo, mm -hmm. 
my Pluto polarity point, which has to do with my soul intention yes. of, of, of why I'm here, and my evolutionary path is Aquarius, oh, really? which is non-attachment. Yes. So like whenever I feel I like place. I'm getting attached hmm. to, oh, I want, I've got to have that, yes. or oh, I want, or I need hmm. that, or this is what should be, or hmm. da-da-da, whenever I I'd start to see myself attach mm -hmm. to something, mm -hmm. a goal or an outcome, I, I, I say no. That's a lack of energy. That is a, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, a, that's, that's going to limit, that's going to, you know. So this is also this 12th house thing that I got from my ayahuasca journeys and from, I have to say, Mother Giambatti yes. down in Brazil. Uh, a couple of years ago that was surrender to life mm -hmm. and that has to do with the trust mm -hmm. in this divine intelligence yes. being much greater much more together much more powerful mm -hmm. much more you know than myself yes. so I'm I'm trying to do that son in the mm -hmm. 12th house of uh, be a flute that's played yes yeah and is there also you could say, yes, there is that divine intelligence, but you are also a sparkle of it. So there is also that divine intelligence in your body, in your system, in your soul. Um, if you make the connection between them, or yes, you don't make it, it's the, it's, it is the, there, I guess. Um, probably you can I don't know what I want to say, but there is something to do with the both of us, the both of those things together. But I'm not sure what I want to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. It's like, well, what is the connection? <laughs> yes. You know, it's, between it's some, yes, the lower self and the higher self, or however you yes, want to put it. You know. Maybe it's not, or this or that. It's really both of them. Mm -hmm. And when you are using your ego or your ego like an instrument you can do both so probably it's not necessary to lose your ego if your ego is a healthy ego yeah well, that's what I always say I say that the ego is like the manager a... the manager of the body the manager of the time the manager of your physical health and your schedule and this and that and you have to have a good manager yes for the owner <laughs> yes, oh, you yeah, know, to have a good yeah. thing going on. Yes, to make it. So work. I'm not, yeah. I'm not into the egolessness no. and let go of you ego. Know, no, I don't believe uh, no. it either. No. no, no, no. So in that sense, it's just being really kind of, and I use Kundalini Yoga or whatever mm -hmm. to kind of strengthen. Uh, my identity, here we come back to identity, you know, is my identity my ego, the manager, mm -hmm. or do I, identify my, do I identify myself as this body, mm -hmm. uh, and these thoughts, and Those these feelings, images, yes. I, can, I, can, I can take that as my identity, mm -hmm. or I can say, no, that's not my identity, I choose to identify myself mm -hmm. as an infinite spiritual being. Yes. And then, it's just like make, making that shift mm -hmm. enables me yes. to put that stuff and my desires and things mm -hmm. into another perspective. Perspective. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So then, and then, and that that you know that to me seems to be working because I'm having a hell of a good time. Yes. <laughs> It's the most important thing, I guess. I've got to say! <laughs> you know, I mean, life is kick butt, man. Yes. It's, it's and, and probably that was also <laughs> when I started to look at your videos, I was really inspired by your freedom. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> a little time later, I was very attracted to that, that way of freedom. Uh, how do you say uh, spreading or feeling so um, when you're yeah, I'm curious how do you live your li living um, all the way in freedom because I really think it's an 
it's the the essence of your DNA. Or isn't it? Is that just the thing I see? Because you as well are a reflection, of course, of the things I see. Well, I mean, I, I would have to say freedom has a lot to do with a lack of fear. Or not a lack of fear, but um, a, fear. A, a certain way of living with fear. Yes. And not letting fear choose. No. You can choose for love instead of fear. Yeah. 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 And uh, for me, I mean, I have a bunch of stuff in Leo. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of Leo going on. And uh, my, my friend Daniel Giamario, mm -hmm. Shamanic Astrology, uh, just, you know, it was a few years ago that he just came in and said, Leo Rising yes. is learning, you know, how to uh, just show up. Mm -hmm. Just show up. And not be afraid. The biggest fear of Leo is rejection. Oh, really? You know, like, they're not going to like me. They're not going to smile. Yes. They're not going to clap. They're not going to embrace me. They're going to laugh at me or, you know, think I'm stupid or I'm not ready or I'm not big enough or important or mm -hmm. strong or knowledgeable or whatever. And and so that that just, like, that really sunk in. That was a big teaching for me. Yes, of course. To just, wow, you mean all I have to do is show up like, like I'm enough? <laughs> I, I'm enough just as I am? Oh my God! <laughs> I've been trying to be something else yes. for so long, mm -hmm. <laughs> for Dad or Mom or somebody or somebody. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. I mean, it I was know. just like this thing of like, oh my God, I'm enough just as I am, and all I have to do is show up, and I can turn on that video camera, you know, without preparing and without studying mm -hmm. and without like, you know getting all, you know, about, oh, what are they going to say, or what are they going to think, or this, that, and, and, and just, so that just, like, was re really empowering yes. for me. I am what I am, and that is that. And everybody and is... And was it that simple, like you were telling now? Because, of course, when that's such an uh, uh, important part of your your system, it needs time or it needs whatever what. Well, How the Kundalini you know? Yoga really, I mean, the Kundalini yes. Yoga just changed the whole picture because, and, and there's, a, there's a song, I am who I am and that is that, hmm. you know. Hmm. I am who you are looking back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you it's know? in Lakesh as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am another you, yeah. I mean, so... Um, but what were you saying? I mean, it t how it takes time and practice to yes, to really <clears throat> live to to live to that more and more up. and more. Yeah. Yeah. And is it finished yet, or is it an ongoing process? No, it's a total ongoing process. I also got it through the Mankind Project. Mm -hmm. I worked a lot with the Mankind Project. It's groups and circles of men and initiation of men and their whole thing also is authenticity okay. being authentic yes. and I really wanted to get into authenticity which has to do with transparency yes, of course. which has to do with not withholding your feelings your fears your needs your truth mm -hmm. but being transparent and being open about everything which has to do with absolute honesty and integrity yes. and just showing up mm -hmm. and I can't say that I'm I, and, I'll, and I'll say the, the harder it is is with intimacy yes, of course. obviously I can be absolutely authentic looking into a camera when mm -hmm. I'm sitting out in the woods <laughs> yes, it's just like close to but it's like person. my my wife, yes. <laughs> my kids, yes. you know, my you know my you know the people that I'm in community with, yes. you know that you know, the the closer, the more, yeah. the it's like, the more I'm attached mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to what they feel or what they want or what they're, what's going to turn them on or off or, or you know probably what they can give you yeah as well yeah, yeah. what I need from them. Mm -hmm. So then it becomes, that's, you know, so yeah, I think, you know, like I say in the Pele Report, you know, I mean, intimacy requires vulnerability, mm -hmm. and vulnerability requires, you know, the naked truth, the, you know, the, yes. the, you know, the, on, you know, the honesty, and, 
probably the the biggest surrender. Yeah. So I'm, you know. And how do you do? I'm I'm doing I'm doing better and better all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You know it's uh. And I can do more. Yes. So it's. I can go deeper and deeper, and I look forward to, I'm so into being married and having a life commitment where I can go and I have time. It's not like she's, <laughs> you know, I need you. It, you know, no, it's like, you know what, we have time together mm -hmm. and we're going to grow closer and open up more like a flower mm -hmm. and there's patience there. Yes. And there's acceptance of, no, I'm not perfect and no, I'm not you know, mm -hmm. going to just, like, spill my beans, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> overnight, you know, I mean, yeah, it's it's a really mature kind of uh, relationship, yes. where, right. you know, she's, yeah, she's still got mystery for me, mm -hmm. she's not an open book, That's good. in fact, it, this is a cultural thing, too, right, yes. Yes. she's a, she's a Tika, mm -hmm. uh, a, you know, Latin from Costa Rica, yes. Yes. And she's talked to me about how these Americans hmm. think that relationship just has to, like, you have to know every last thing and every last thought and every last feeling. and For we have each to, other? For this twin flame and this, oh, really? this soulmate thing. It's like, you know, we've just got to know everything about each <laughs> other. And this is not a Latin. No. You go south of the border, you know what? <laughs> It's a, it's another ball game, yes. right? Okay. It's like you know what? Uh, I don't have to know everything about you. No. And I'm not going to tell you everything about me. I I process mm -hmm. some of my own things, yes. and you can process your own things. Yes. And we don't need to like do all this. <laughs> 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 and I was just like, wow, That's I like you? this. <laughs> I like you. I like you. Thank you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my God. But then even probably it's more difficult to get real intimate with each other because your way of being very close to the other person is probably by knowing a lot of things from that person or uh, uh, being a lot of time together or. Because it's in your system. It's an old system, but it's still in your system. And she's got another way of living. Or is it more... Or can you hide... Well, you want, me to, you want me to spill all my beans or something? No, not really. I'll tell you, I mean, my... If, 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 you, want, if you want to get in... I, I mean, my... Uh, my thing is really not seeking fulfillment on this plane, in this level, through this body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of reached a point a few years ago of not really being attached to this life. Mm -hmm. That I really felt like I've lived a very full life. I've had a family. I've got beautiful kids. Uh, I've had beautiful lovers. I've traveled, all the, I've traveled the world. I've really done everything that I've ever wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I didn't... I don't, I don't really... I don't really feel any kind of a need to be here. No. And um, so it's fulfilled. Yeah, I feel I, I feel kind of like you know this is I'm I'm on gravy train now. Mm -hmm. Been there, done that. I mean I, I don't you know. Mm -hmm. And um, and so my um, this has given me kind of a different perspective on what I'm looking for mm -hmm. and what I want in a relationship. Mm -hmm with intimacy and with, you know, um, I really feel that I am here for others. I really feel that um, I just want to be a gift, a gift to her and a gift to others. And in, in terms of like um, seeking, mm -hmm. I'm done. I, what shows up, shows up. Mm -hmm. I'm li I'm I'm living into the space of accepting, mm -hmm. and allowing, and admiring. With what shows up, mm -hmm. and when she shows up for me, 
I think intimacy is not something you can lock up, put in a suitcase, and have. No. We have ultimate intimate moments. Mm -hmm. We have ultimate intimate connections. Mm -hmm. And then they're gone. Yes, just in the moment. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy with that. I'm not, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not it comes and I, I feel like love has a mind of its own. Love has its own way. Mm -hmm. It comes and visits us and it moves on. Mm -hmm. And it comes back and it just, you know, all we can really do, mm -hmm. all that, I, and for me, all that I can really do mm -hmm. is uh, be grateful yes. and enjoy mm -hmm. what shows up. Yes. I don't, I don't, yeah. <laughs> So I don't know. I mean, that just, um, mm. I think some of it is lowering the expectation levels. Yes. I you know, there was a long time in my life where, oh, it's got to be this or it's got to be that or I'm going to be let down or that's not good enough or the da 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 And there's yeah. all this kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just like, you know what? <laughs> Much more relaxed, I guess. Yeah, yeah. knock it off, man. Mm. If you deserve it, yes. spirit's going to give it to you. Yes. Work on your own shit. Yes. Improve yes. your, yes. you know, <laughs> your outlook. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. <laughs> but to bring it back to the heart, eh? what is your, your connection by... You told me a lot now, and I understand a little bit more of the way you're seeing it. But for me, to be really honestly, or to be sit down, oh. Go on. to be real um, yeah, honest, it, it's a, sometimes a great challenge for me because uh, sometimes in the short moment it feels a little bit more easy not being honest to the other, but first of all to myself. And I'm exploring more and more that I I can't go there anymore, so it's necessary to just be there and stay there. But it's still sometimes a little bit, oops, I can feel my fear as well in that, in that part. So, um, how do you live your uh, guts? to be real honest to yourself, to your own heart space. Um. Or isn't it, isn't it a challenge for you? I'm not really... I don't feel really challenged no. in that way. No. I mean, I feel totally blessed mm -hmm. to be with a partner mm -hmm. that has such unconditional love for me. Mm -hmm. And I view partnership and relationship as a mirror mm -hmm. of what's going on inside. So I also can also say that I feel, you know, the way that I've deserved this or created this yes, is through my own yes. so unconditional self-love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, you know, you know he I'm, all, I'm all right with myself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so there he is again. <laughs> and, 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 and part of the way that I can do that, Yes. Um, I mean, I was raised Catholic. You know, I mean, I got yes. moon opposite Saturn, you know, guilt out the ass, okay, yes. for long times, you know. Yes. And it's just like, you there. should be Don't ashamed of yourself, you. young man. And I went to the seminary and got all kinds of, you know. So, I mean, Keep I've moved. Your hands up above. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like I got here like that, yes. right? You know, I mean, it, it, this has been a long process for mm -hmm. me. And, and, uh, and part of that is just like uh, coming into this place of... Um, evolutionary astrology of evolution in general mm -hmm. of the that the latin uh, root of sin mm -hmm. is error yes and i was a school teacher mm. you know i was a school teacher for years yes and it's just like the kids are making mistakes mm -hmm. 
We're all erroring mm. all the time. We're all sinning all the time. And it doesn't mean anything. Mm. All it means is that... There is growth. There's, that there's growth. There's mm. something that we don't know. We're becoming more aware of something. And the more aware we become, the less chance there is of us making that same mistake. And so... If I, you know, so this whole concept of wrong mm -hmm. and sin mm -hmm. and uh, you know all that, it's it's just like you know what we're all falling down, tripping ourselves, hurting each other, screwing up, and learning. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, we're evolving mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. individually, together as humanity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the whole thing is, I don't know. It's just like all about. Becoming more conscious of our unconscious, mm -hmm. and it's almost like an inevitability. Mm -hmm. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. We can't. Do it all. I don't think we can. You know, I mean, you can't stop evolution. No, I don't want to. <laughs> you know. No. So, I just uh, you know. So I make mistakes and I screw up and I, you know, accidentally hurt somebody or, you know, you know, unconsciously hurt somebody or whatever this, that, or the other thing. And, and it's like, I just kind of like, okay. Uh, and it's a, the other thing is my, one of my favorite movies is What About Bob? I don't know. Oh God, you got to see What About Bob. <laughs> It's baby steps to the kitchen. Oh, really? I, his whole thing. He's a neurotic, psychotic nutcase, right? I, he's one of my favorite actors. I forget his name. Yes. Uh, and it, it, but his whole thing is baby steps to the, you know. To the kitchen. I mean, we're all just doing baby steps. It, you get a tiny little bit better each day. And that's good enough, man. Yeah, so that's perfect. So that helps with the self-acceptance, the unconditional love, which then I think is, you know, reflected in, you know, what what happens outside. Yes, in the relationships or the behavior. Or, yeah. Hmm. So I learned a little bit more about you and about myself. <laughs> so it was a little baby step, I guess. Yeah, today. baby. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, really, I could talk hours and hours. But <laughs>